I'm going to be very honest. I was wrong about Nebus Group. I was skeptical about Nebus Group. I've made videos comparing them to chip makers like Nvidia and I basically concluded that renting out GPUs is a dangerous, rapidly depreciating business with questionable margins. But after interviewing Daniel Koss about Nebius on my podcast and watching his interview with Nebius CRO Mark Borodisky, my view has changed dramatically. This video is me switching sides, not blindly, but because the facts have changed. Today I'll break down exactly what I learned, why my skepticism was misplaced, and whether Nebius is now one of the most asymmetric AI opportunities of this decade. The first interview was with Nebius CRO, someone who came from Cloudflare, Twilio, and some of the strongest SaaS DNA in the world. The second was my conversation with Daniel Koss about how Nebius is not just a CPU rental shop, but the company is building the next generation hyperscaler. Together, these interviews provided clarity on what I was missing. In just one year, Nebius went from essentially zero revenues to becoming a multi-billion dollar AI cloud infrastructure provider. Mark confirmed that they are guiding to seven to nine billion dollars AIR by the end of next year, with half already contracted and 400% year-over-year growth in their core business. This is the fastest infrastructure growth I have ever seen faster than early AWS, faster than most hyperscalers at similar stages. Nebius won a 17 to $20 billion deal with Microsoft and $3 billion deal with Meta. These aren't some small startups casually experiencing with GPUs. These are tier one global giant trusting a one year old commercial product. But why? Mark gives two reasons. The Yandex engineering DNA, their leadership built hyperscale infrastructure at Yandex for a decade. Top tier talent. Mark calls it hundreds of engineers with hyperscaler experience. Two, they move faster than anybody else. Mark said their corp development works through nights to secure land, power, and supply before others even finish their due diligence. This speed is their weapon. My biggest skepticism was, how is this not a commodity? GPUs depreciate very fast, and this is a race to the bottom. But Daniel Koss dismantled this idea, because Nebius is not a GPU renter. They are a hyperscaler, vertically integrated, building software, not just infrastructure, pricing at a premium and expanding margins. The GPUs are just an entry point into a much stickier software stack. Just like AWS isn't valued for EC2, it is valued for S3, Lamba, DynamoDB, and Redshift. Nebius is building the AI equivalent. This was the aha moment. Nebius controls land strategy, power sourcing, data center engineering, hardware integration, developer tools, orchestration, optimizations, and inference layer or the token factory. In Mark's words, we built this whole stack and that creates stickiness and premium pricing. Customers literally told them, we are switching to Nebius because our engineers like your platform better. We are willing to pay more. This is the opposite of a commodity. This is high margin, software defined infrastructure plus. Mark openly stated, the majority of profit will come from software. And Daniel expanded that they don't need infrastructure margins to be high. Break even is acceptable. The value added AI platform is where the margins explode. The revenue will look more like 20 to 30% infrastructure and 70 to 80% software plus services. This is Cloudflare plus AWS plus Snowflake early. 
Another major misconception that I had was power constraint will slow them down. Mark's answer was clear. They are signing power contracts aggressively. They already have intermediate solutions. They're increasing pricing, not cutting it, and demand far exceeds supply. His quote, we are increasing prices diplomatically, carefully, but we are. You increase prices only when demand is overwhelming. Three things that made me flip. Nebius engineering culture is unmatched. Chess grandmaster level operators, literally former Yandex elite engineers, are everywhere. Premium pricing plus sticky software is non-commodity business. If customers pay more for your infrastructure, then you're not a commodity player. Three, the founder's track record is ridiculous. As Daniel noted, Arkady built five to seven unicorns, always hit guidance at Yandex for a decade. Also, Nebius already has NVIDIA's highest level attention and they're getting 30% more revenue per megawatt than the peers. So when a founder with that track record guides seven to nine X ARR, you better pay attention. This is not financial advice, but here is the asymmetric view. Downside, well, Nebius fails to scale and you lose money. Upside, Nebius becomes the new hyperscaler of the AI era. In such a case, 5X, 10X, and even 20X over the decade is definitely doable if it becomes the AI native AWS. As Daniel said, this is generational. I don't think the market understands it yet. Now, it is time for you to tell me, what do you think about Nebius Group?